Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm out here in Joshua Tree. I don't know if you can see anything. And uh, just, uh, I had some thoughts today about the left brain and the right brain and multidimensionality and multiple timelines. And I think that the big culprit as far as getting stuck in space and time might be the left brain. And the reason for that is that the left brain is very good at figuring out logical s sequences and cause and effect and uh, calculating time and so forth, space. But um, when, when it performs those functions, it kind of locks the, um, the mind down into a particular uh, time and space framework, you know, cause and effect framework. And so... I was just thinking, I was trying just now, uh, s switching to, to right brain visualization, right brain activity instead, because it's a, it's a whole different thing with the right brain. I mean, you have your intuition, your artistic ability, and could be synthetic ability too, huh? The ability to, to look at life holistically. And, and I would think that there would be a good place to start with an understanding of multidimensionality and uh, timeline jumping. So what I think is that if I can pay more attention to my right brain and developing that, that I'll be happier during this time because I'll be more uh, in a position to benefit from all the new light and so forth. I just feel like it'll be a more joyful life, you know. And uh, so there's that. And two, I was thinking a little bit about old ways and new ways of looking at things. I was thinking about how, you know, a tooth for a tooth, it's kind of like Old Testament and New Testament, how they used to think of the law in the Old Testament as a tooth for a tooth, oh wait, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, right? And then in the New Testament, the, the Gospel of Christ introduced the notion of love, loving uh, loving God and loving our fellow man and turning the other cheek, you know, if we're, if we're, if we're injured and forgiving, you know, and, and helping others and, and that kind of thing. And I think that when people are on, uh, like on the page of, of like an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, you know, of like, and they have frequent thoughts of like getting even or vengeance or uh, how does it go? Not forgiving, like holding a grudge, those kinds of things. Those those kind of stucknesses that happen in our in our hearts and in our in our thinking, they make it also very difficult to to move on to like a whole new way of of choosing things, which which is basically what multidimensionality is and and jumping timelines. The, these these um, these represent a, a radical new understanding of our, of our many abilities as human beings, not to get boxed in, you know, not like boxed into a box canyon, and and not to get boxed into our left brains, you know, and not to get boxed into a way of of feeling and emoting that won't allow us to move on to the next thing. So in general, I think. The Gospel of Christ, which has been spoken in different words by many great spiritual teachers throughout the world, is an excellent template for us as we move into into all of our new abilities and and, and the, the, the chance to choose things. Uh, then there have been some questions that I'd like to address regarding um, free will and the desire to, to continue to keep what we have, right? Be because many people in the world today don't quite have enough, you know, and and uh, some people have quite are privileged to have quite a lot, and so naturally there's a concern uh, as as this process unfolds. Here's the concern: What will people do? How will they choose? What will they do with regard to those that have a great deal? So. I would just like to express my understanding and my my assurance from divine that 
the concept of a free will planet allows everyone to have free will. For those that wish to have a very great deal, there will be a timeline that is available for them to, to husband their natural resources and their power for, for as long as they want to, to continue with that goal. And for those that, that feel otherwise, such as like sharing their, their talent and their wealth and, their, um, and their, their hearts with everyone on earth, why there'll be a timeline for that as well, and everything in between. You know, so all of these timelines coexist in the now, and everyone's free will is honored. Now, you may be thinking, like, this is a radical new concept, you know, how could that be? How could that play out in a synchronous universe? How could that happen? And yet, the truth of the matter is that here on Earth, at this very moment, and for for all the ages before, these possibilities did exist and are being played out. But yet, with our left brains, we have a hard time envisioning the true freedom that we have, you know. As to how that could happen, my feeling is, and this is just a wild guess, I'd be the first to say it, my feeling is that each of us has many different um, exists in many different timelines and alternate worlds, exists in many different dimensions. In the timelines, we will place our focus somewhere. This focus, this awareness that we have, jumps us from one timeline to the next, okay? Can happen in a split second over and over and over again. Or we may decide to stay in one timeline, okay? If we decide to do that, we may forget that we have those choices, you know. There in the space where our awareness is not exist many um, fractals of ourself, many versions of ourself on which we don't place our awareness, but which act out as like markers of the terrain for those who make different choices from us. I, I'm trying to like I'm doing my best with a very difficult concept here. So, so what I'm trying to say is that, say I choose, say I have great, great resources on earth right now and I want to keep my resources or I have great leadership responsibilities and I would prefer to keep those, okay? Then all I have to do is to make that choice. And for those who choose otherwise, it it will they, their awareness may move elsewhere, but they will they will kindly their souls will agree to allow that to stay here with us that allows us to know that things are exactly the same as they ever were. Yet for them, because of their awareness shift, things are radically different. They exist in a different timeline or in an alternate world. Do you understand? That's where their awareness is. So for those that that want to see no change, I'm pretty sure that it's possible. For those that want to change very slowly, also pretty sure you can do exactly as you want. For those that want to make a beeline in the direction that the earth is heading, as far as awareness is concerned, I believe that is also possible. The choice is completely ours. It's up to each of us. Ah.